Hi, thanks for watching my channel. This is your girl, Infinite Beauty. And today I'm going to show you how to do a neutral cut crease kind of look for my deeper skin tone ladies. So if you like to watch the video, please continue and please like and subscribe. My name is Infinite Beauty and I'll see you. from now on I'm gonna be doing a voiceover because I have some noise in the background right here I'm adding Madagascar from Juvia's Place palette the Numia 2 to my transition area and just blend that you guys and put that all in your crease Next, I'm taking a brown pencil from NYX, or you could just use any brown pencil, you guys, and outline your cut crease. And you want to go above your cut crease. Since I have hooded lids, if I was to open up my eye, you would not see all the detail work. So that's why I'm cutting above my crease. And next, you guys, we're going to take, I believe it is Kenya, and trace along that dark brown line that we just did to help blend it out into your transition area.
right here I am adding my color corrector and you want to color correct if you have any dark spots or if you have acne spots if you have red marks on your face or anything like that well since I have acne spots in mine are brown and I have a little darkness up under my eyes I'm going to use a peach toned color corrector to counter balance that undertone so it will not peek through my foundation so I'm just doodling that all over my face and then next you guys I'm going to take a, my damp sponge and dab that into my face and you want to do pouncing motions look up if you have any creases up under your eyes and you want don't want to blend it all the way in you want a little bit to show that orangey color so it can continue to counteract that darkness and if you want to add concealer on top of that that is your skin tone or close to it you can definitely do that to add a little bit more coverage and you want to use your damp beauty blender or face sponge or whatever you have and just pass that in. Next I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I love this you guys. This gives me the most flawless foundation look and it's not heavy and it's waterproof and I find that it's transfer proof at least in my case. And you want to add that and use your beauty blender to blend that in all over your face. Notice you guys that I do not put any up under my eyes as I'm going to highlight up under there. And I don't want to have too many products up under my eyes because I have those little folds up under my eyes. So it will not crease or look too cakey. And you want to blend up under your chin, along your hairline. And next, I believe I'm going to add a little bit more and a little spot in little areas of my face that I feel that might need a little bit more coverage, which is my cheek area mainly. In this part I'm going to be highlighting and I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Warm Honey to do so. Highlight up under your eyes. Um, chin, forehead, and down the center of your nose like I'm doing here. And Cupid's bow. And you're going to take that same beauty blender but the pointier side and blend that up under your eyes to get in those tiny little areas. Down the center of your nose, forehead, and chin. And take the wider side to blend it with your foundation. No lines of demarcation, guys. Okay, you guys, here comes the baking. I'm taking my air spun by Coty in the translucent and baking. You want to do this with a damp beauty blender. And you want to put that under your eyes, down the center of your nose, your forehead, your chin. And you just want to pack that on there and let that sit. And while that is sitting, you guys, I believe I'm going to finish up my lower lash line. Yes. And that I'm adding Morocco first to blow that out. No, I'm doing my concealer. 
or a base so my eyeshadow can pop down there. I believe now I'm about to add the Morocco from the Nubian 2 palette. Put that under your eyes, not close to your lash line. blend 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 make sure it connects to your outside part of your wing and then next I'm taking another brush I believe it's my pencil brush from Luxie and adding I believe it was Kenya and put that a little bit closer to my lash line but not on my lash line and blend that with the previous color which is Morocco and then I'm going to take my definer brush from Luxie as well and add the chocolate color from the Duce palette and put that on my water, on my lash light, I'm sorry. And I'm going to blend. I don't know what I just did there, you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> And next I'm going to take my black eyeliner from LA Girl. This is their Glide On eyeliner. And add that to your waterline. And I had to blink a couple times. My eyes was about to water and I did not want to mess up my artwork. Next this is this some random blue glitter eyeliner I'm going to add to my cut crease line just for a little oomph to it and do that and the other eye of course now right here I'm taking a fluffy brush I believe it's from crown and dusting away that baking powder away and then I'm going to set it with my LA girl color LA colors contour palette that you can find in any local beauty supply store you guys and I'm taking that orangey and yellow type color and adding that to my highlighted areas Again, under your eyes, forehead, down the center of your nose, and chin. And just adding that so I don't look so pasty. And then next, I'm going to city color and the contour effects and I'm taking that brown contour color that's actually just laying out my cheeks because I have fat cheeks and I want it a little bit more defined slip my face down suck in your mouth like you're a fish contour my forehead a little bit I don't really have a big forehead but I want to add a little bit more depth right there contour my chin my jawline because I have chubby face I want more structure I'm taking a blending brush from elf I believe and just pouncing that all over my face my contour area everywhere make sure it's all blended together you don't want any lines of demarcation. You want everything to blend seamlessly. And 
in neck right here I'm taking my powder brush from Royal Techniques and my face color from MAC Mineral Mineralized Skin Finish sorry in the color dark and adding that all over my face even my highlighted areas just make sure it's all blended taking my I believe it is my MAC brush I'll put the number down below for you and I'm adding another MAC powder in uh, dark deepest I believe it is it's more like a it has an undertone of a red color so it's really good bronzing color for me I'm adding that where I contoured to add a little bit more bronze glow to my face. I'm taking a small fluffy brush. I believe this is also from e.l.f. It's their concealer brush actually and taking that same bronzing powder from MAC at contouring my nose so it's not as harsh as my cheek contour but it's there but not as noticeable and going over that with my face brush just make sure it's blended and I like to do this trick where I go around my nostrils I think it just adds a little bit more definition here you guys I really don't know what I was doing or looking for just bear with me so how are you guys this is my first video I really hope you enjoy it and let me know what you would like to see next right here I am adding my mascara that's from Ico lash alert and I'm adding that to my top lashes to prepare for some falsies and I'm sorry I'm out of camera out of frame and I'm adding that to my lower lash line my lower lashes not that I really have any but we're going to add it there anyway and right here I'm showing you the eyelashes that I'm using they're from the dollar lash club and I believe these are in the style Audrey. These are really affordable eyelashes and they're luxury mink lashes. It's a subscription. Or you could just do a one time buy if you would like to. And my lash glue blowing on it so it'll dry. So I could pop those on. Hang them to my eye. I stick the middle part down, then the outer portion, and then I go into the inner part. I'm sorry, I'm out of out of frame. I have to get really close to the mirror. Mirror. What am I saying? Mirror. And then once they're stuck on, I like to push them up to make sure the band is even closer to my natural lashes. And then glue to the other pair. Blowing on that one, getting that one prepared. 
putting that one on outer then inner and pinch them together and then fluff upwards I think this one was giving me a little problem it act like it did not want to stick in my inner part Adding more mascara to make sure it's blended together and to push them up even more to give it that baby doll effect. Next, I'm about to add my blush. I'm using my blush brush from Luxie and my Tarte blush in the color Feisty and adding that to my cheeks. Just blend and add a little to my temples just for a little bit of color. I'm adding my highlights using my Real Techniques brush and my highlight is from Wet n Wild in the color Crown of My Canopy and then to my tops of my cheeks, my chin, Cupid's, go, Cupid's bow, goodness gracious, center of my nose and a little bit on my forehead, spray my face with my facial spray from Mario Badascu. And then I wanted a glossy look with this makeup. So I'm lining my lips with my NYX pencil in that dark brown, the same one I used to cut my crease with. And lining my lips and putting some on shading it on the inside of my lips and then I'm adding my gloss from Fenty or Fenty Glow and that push your mouth lips together to make sure it's blended and that is your look